All right, man, the Vada drug test results are in for Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. The rematch that took place on ESPN pay-per-view in conjunction with Fox pay-per-view. Let's get into it. It's Real Talk with CJ. Yes, formerly a good fellow Sports TV. Hopefully today I can get to a live stream explaining the situation with the channel. And hopefully there's a chance I'll get it back. I've been in touch with some people from Google that's trying to get me in touch with people from YouTube. So if not, I'll rebrand the channel. I'll change this channel to Goodfellas Sports TV um, and some other, you know, pre uh, some other suffix on the end. So we'll figure it out. Um, but we cross that bridge when we get there. But uh, yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Just spread the word. I'm over here right now. Share on social media. Later, I do a video when I get a round to it showing how you can continue to support to get my channels back. I also lost Motor City Sports Talk. But Mauricio Suleiman Jr. to the Twitter last night. Shout out to Dr. Blick for sending this to me uh, on Twitter. He said, making my monthly report to the, to the board and happy to see all the negative results reported by FADA testing from the clean boxing program some of them are bronze bomber that's deontay water at tyson fury those are the ones that we care about right so tyson fury uh passed all his drug tests for deontay water rematch i heard it was a chance that there was an adverse test i heard that from two different people but according to marisa suleiman there is no uh positive test so could it have been one you know, and they swept it under the rug. Yeah, this is the first time I'm seeing anything reported from VADA or associated with VADA um, in a long time about a PBC fighter in a drug test. So I guess they want to keep that under wraps. But, you know, you move on from it. You know, people talking about the gloves. If Wilder ain't complaining about the gloves, well, am I? Somebody told me on Twitter, Wilder got sued for defamation of character by Alexander Povetkin. That was false. It was all about money in the escrow account when Pavekin failed the drug test for Melodonian and Deontay Wilder wanted the money in the escrow account and he won it, but then Rubisky and Pavekin sued and they got the money back. That's why reading is fundamental, uh, kids. But at the end of the day, you know, at the end of, you can't take nothing away from Tyson Fury. He got down on him. People saying the gloves funny, this, that, and the third. Same thing with the Tony Harrison situation. When I pointed out that Tony Harrison, you know, uh, in the bottle, with Charlo, nobody, everybody just so oh, you just being a sore loser, and I don't see it. Well, with the gloves, I don't see it then, okay? I like Deontay, but, hey, move on from it. He ain't complaining about it. At least Tony Harrison uh, went back and watched his fight and made a gripe about it. Wilder hasn't spoke on it. I don't know if he's handling it behind the scenes, and he's filing a petition with the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Um, people saying they debunking the glove thing or whatever. The situation may be, I don't really know the Queensbury rule. Does the fist have to be all the way in the glove or or whatever? People showing training videos and him training like that. But the thing about it is he does have a history of taking the padding out of the gloves. And somebody brought up another story that came up. Bushido Boxing was talking about on his channel. Check Bushido Boxing out that there's another sparring partner that came out and said Fury was taking the padding out of the gloves as well. But, hey. Regardless, uh, he got down on Wilder. Wilder got to make some changes. Wilder can't rely on the glove situation or rely on a, pot a potential swept under the table, failed drug test. He got to get better. He got to get better technically. He got to clean some things up, add some things to his game, tweak it, get a little Wilder tune-up, and you move on. No need for excuses. He made no, you know, no tweaks to his game coming to the first fight, to the second fight. But, uh, but yeah. You know, I ain't taking nothing away from Tyson Fury. He got down on old boy. We move on from it. It happens. We've seen Ali lose. We've seen Sugar Ray Leonard Robinson lose. We've seen Tommy Hearns lose. We've seen Roy Jones lose. We've seen the greatest of, of lose. You know, Wilder can become, you know, immortally great or immortalizing greatness if he come back and he beat Tyson Fury and he stop him. You know what I'm saying? Then we talking about Wilder and the Pantheon of Greats. We talking about a super fight that's back on like hot butter popcorn with Anthony Joshua. So... You know, I ain't taking nothing away from Fury. I Like I said before, I don't understand the gloves. I understand people making a thing out of the glove situation. I get it, you know. But, hey, we just move on from it. To be honest, we just move on from it. Wilder got to make some adjustments, you know. And we know Fury is a wonderful kind boxer in the square circle in today's game in the heavyweight division. You're not going to find nobody else like him. AJ don't fight like him. Pueb don't fight like him. You know, Big Baby don't fight like him. I see he got a lot to say 
for somebody that should be exiled from boxing permanently. But, you know, Wilder just got to prove that he's a true champion. He can come back. Anything short of a victory is a disappointment, and he probably going to be considered a hype job, right? Which most people already consider him, but he got to get back to the drawing board, hone his skills. And really, you've seen the best of Tyson Fury. This is everything Tyson Fury can do. He can walk, he can box you, be slick. He can get down on you and beat you up. Now, what can you do different, Wilder? And, you know, that's the challenge. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Ain't nothing changed. Put the numbers on the brains. Blow off the old school. Blow off the brains. I'm talking shit, man. But, uh, but yeah, man, so we on the same social media. Uh, Want to make a donation to the channel. That information is in the description as well. Uh, appreciate everybody that's showing love. Spread the word. I'm over here for right now. And I'll let you guys know updates as they come.